California Kling. Do 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 do. Hmm. Hey everybody, it's Lauren Kling, and I'm here today with Sean Inman, who's the founder and owner of BeerSearchParty.com. Tell me about your fascination and your passion about beer. Well, I'm originally from Portland, Oregon before I moved down here to LA. So Portland has a very large and uh, big, big, big beer scene there. Uh, they have 50 plus breweries just in the city of Portland itself. So it's sort of ingrained in the DNA to sort of love beer, love coffee, love spirits, love food. There are definitely some nice places here in town to yes, indeed. not only get a brew, but I love the places that also serve food because yes. it kind of soaks up the beer, <laughs> gives you more of a, a, a place to hang out and experience yeah. different tastes along with the beer. beer. And beer and food are an actual better pairing in most cases than like wine and food because wine is just one ingredient, it's grapes. Whereas beer, you can put spices in it like coriander, you can have coffee beer, you can have beers that are roasted or beers that are very light like a pilsner. All right, so as part of your fascination with beer, I see here photo albums with no photos in them. Correct. Absolutely none. So, <laughs> but I see a lot of uh, labels and also, what would you call these Labels kind of and coasters. Coasters. So, yeah, these are throughout my uh, travels with beer. I have uh, stolen, borrowed, uh, taken coasters from various bars and various breweries and also uh, have gently peeled off labels off of actual bottles or uh, cans to uh, amass this sort of collection. Talk about some of these. Oh, sure. uh, when you look at when you look at these coasters, what do you envision in your mind? I mean, do you think about the location, the food you might have had, the beers you might have had, stories? Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, when I visited, who I was there with, uh, what types of beers we had, what we, what type of year it was. What that, it was just sort of a snapshot of that place, like. Where was I when I had the beers that uh, Fort George had? Which location of Hopworks or Brewery did I get this one from? Um, was this at a bar that I had Coronado tasting, or was it actually at Coronado down in uh, San? Do you have a favorite out of all of these? I I really do like. There's one back here that is my favorite. It's not the Game of Thrones one, uh, but uh, Michael. Uh, this one, my dad's name is Michael, so. Um, and he oh, passed wow. away in 2009. This is sort of like, okay, well, that's... It's not named after him, it's named after the uh, famous uh, beer critic Michael Jackson. If you look over at this page, this is uh, a couple of the logos from Eagle Rock, and I was lucky enough to meet Jeremy Rao, who's the uh, owner and head brew brewer there, before they opened up, and you got to walk through the premises before they made it into the taproom and brewery that it is today. So I can see this logo and go, okay, well, I was there at the beginning. I know the guy who designed this logo. I know why he sort of chose that sort of font. And oh, that's cool. So it's each page sort of has a little different story behind it, as well as the beer behind it. So this is the ghost of Jacob Barley. <laughs> uh, a lot of puns in the brewing industry, especially with hops. You get like Hopzilla or Hopsicle, stuff like that. I believe this is a barley wine, so it's 9.6%, uh, but it's got cinnamon and coffee. Ooh. Why not? <laughs> okay. And we don't have to go anywhere right away. No. You're at home <laughs> enjoying a beer, or you're on the subway enjoying you the beer. better be and... enjoying a beer. Yes. yes. <laughs> Is there a proper way to sample a yes, beer? Yes, yes. Uh, first you want to look at it, see what the color is, see what the head looks like. Just sort of appreciate the look of it. Then the next 
next step is to take it up to your nose and sort of figure out what that first aroma is. And then you just take a nice big swig of it. A great thing is discussing with people, and especially if people have differing opinions on it and go, oh, I like this one, and the other person goes, oh, no, that's, ugh. What's going right. on there? So with this kind of beer, what would you pair this with? Well, this is a pretty heavy one. Uh, so a lot of food will probably get sort of drowned out by the heaviness. And it's got two very distinct flavors in coffee and cinnamon. Uh, so it sort of lends itself much more to dessert. So I would say like a spiced coffee cake might be really good with this. Um, Maybe you could possibly even do a, a float with this. Beer floats are one of the most popular beer desserts that you can get. And you can get some nice vanilla ice cream or maybe a nice coffee ice cream. Pour that over it. Gross!